Hey everyone, welcome back to my another, another Swift tutorial. Today I'll show you how to use a uh, NS file manager. Uh, we're gonna simply use a um, persistent class to uh, store data in object file. So let me show you what uh, you're gonna learn. So this is just a um, master detail app that is in Xcode. So so whenever you click on it, it adds a current timestamp and this data should remain even if you uh, exit out from the app so let me exit out from the app from Xcode so I have exited out let me rerun it and it should that data should reappear so this is what you're gonna do so let's get started alright let's go ahead and create a new project like I told you Xcode already has a master detail application so just click next name it hit next and then create it so the file that you uh, the data is being populated in master review detail controller master review controller so click on that my computer loads up okay alright so there are a few things I'm gonna just do it and then I'll, I'll explain you what what those things are doing so let me get This is a file path, so what this is doing, it's just a variable which returns a string. So this one calls the NS file manager, which gets the default. If we, if you want to look at what it's doing, we can uh, uh, simply press option and click on it. And it gives you all the details what it does. The object lets you examine contents of the file system, makes changes to. And it creates a copy and locates it, locates the file directory and so it gives us uh, access to the file directory then what it does is it creates a URL path for that directory and then it uh, using that object we're crea creating a file called name file we can say object file and this makes a whole path so let's say for instance you have your application so this uh, it stores this object file under document so it'll be application object I mean op application documents and then object file so that's what it returns so there's that now since this is already been written what we need is once this it it uh, adds the object we need to save that object to so, so to save that object I already have that here or I can just I can just do it so it is you simply say NS key archiver dot archive I'm just gonna call it um, uh, constructor so our root object is our object which has the data which is this this stores all the data whenever you uh, hit plus that's what uh, that's it this gets called so it pat this object is being filled and uh, the file name is going to be the file path which is this so the reason why I have you have this it just returns the file path so we can just simply say a file path so what this will do every time it come calls this function is going to return that uh, path so first time it gets called it's only gonna create that file once but every time we call that function it's, uh, it's just gonna get that file uh, path so there is that so all we need is now in view did load that we need to have some kind of way so let's test it first let me show you what I mean I'm just gonna test it in five so it's, cause it's quicker I guess so it's compiling Before I do that, let me go ahead and print the file path so you, you all can see it what I'm what I mean by file path. 
and let me save it and rerun it. So whenever it runs, whenever a view gets loaded, it's gonna print out the file name. I mean, whole file file path. Okay. So as you can see, it prints out application, then the file ID. Uh, since this is a simulator, it creates a unique folder, and then documents, and that the file, the whatever whatever you named it. So it's an object file. So now it's get it's created. So if I add it it's gonna do it but since I haven't I haven't uh, put the way to retrieve the data it's not gonna be there so as you can see the data has not been stored so let's go ahead and change it so now all we need is in view did load we need to have some kind of way to get retrieve that data so we can say if let info it just returns an array so you can say array equal to ns keyed since we archived it we need a method which does unarchive so we're gonna call that unarchived with data or the with file since we already have the object file path so we're just gonna use this and we're just gonna say file path so if this is not no we're just gonna say objects is equal to arrays array and build it and rerun it see what that does all right so the hold on just a minute okay so we need to add oh I know why since object is an any type of object I need to say as question mark and since it returns an array I need to say it's any object so now it should not give me any error it still did okay I have alright so it gave me a suggestion so I just went ahead and did it okay let me rerun it And as you can see, we didn't, we haven't added anything, but it used the previous file to add that data. So if you keep on adding those, and let me stop it and rerun it, those data should be still there. So that's all for this tutorial, guys. And let me know if you guys need help with this tutorial, or if you need to see something else. Thank you, guys, for watching, and please subscribe. If you